Speaker. No, I? Sorry, Madam Speaker. Prime Minister's questions. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sorry. Yes, Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister tell this House whether the West Indies Oil Company's decision to sell a property to IF Antigua Limited had the approval of all its shareholders and directors of the board? Hold on. Yeah. Thank you. Hold, hold on, sir. sir. Repeat that question again for me. Go ahead, go ahead. Mr. Speaker, can the Honorable Prime Minister tell this House whether the decision by the West Indies Oil Company to sell a property to IF Antigua Limited had the approval of all its shareholders and the directors of the board. I saw the Prime Minister rise, but that is not a matter that he can speak to. That's a matter for the board. That's a matter for the board. I mean, there are other ways, there are other ways of your finding out that, but it's not the proper. I know the Prime Minister always answers these. Just to elucidate. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, and you're absolutely right. But I'd like the members on the other side of the aisle to understand that um, the companies in which the government of Antigua and Barbuda invests, they operate independent of the government. So West Indies Oil Company, in which the government has shares, we do not give directions to the or get involved in operations of West Indies Oil Company. West Indies Oil Company, practically on a weekly basis, is involved in significant contracts, contracts based on the, on procurements, based on the purchase of um, petroleum products, and from time to time too they do storage contracts, but it is not for the cabinet to determine with whom they do business. We are an investor, and what we expect of West Indies Oil Company is that the company will operate profitably, and that at the end of each year, we will get a check covering the taxes that are due, as well as a check covering the dividends representing our share of the profits. So again, just to repeat, Mr. Speaker, and to reinforce what you have said, West Indies Oil Company operates independent of the government of Antigua and Barbuda. It's not a department of the government. It is a separate limited liability company in which the government of Antigua and Barbuda has shares. Prime Minister, that is all very well, but I wish you would have, because it could be said that a speaker who should know better sat here and, and allowed a question like that that was obviously out of order. The West Indies Oil Company is a company limited by shares. It is a, an entity, a legal entity in its own right. Its decisions are taken by a board, not by the Prime Minister or not by the Executive. And therefore, any, any, whether or not the private company wishes to disclose to a political entity is quite permissible if it wishes to do so. But it is not a proper question for, for Prime Minister's question. And I have to make that clear so that pseudo-experts here in Antigua don't call me to order, and genuine experts abroad want to know what I do if I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Speaker, and good morning to this Honorable House. Um, the Prime Minister is the Minister of Corporate Governance, so I'm not too sure. And with um, the government being the majority shareholder in West Indies Oil Company Limited? Minority now. Okay. Well, if you're challenging my question. legal knowledge, no, sir. No, sir. feel free to do so. No, sir. I'm going to my right. question. You would not be the first. There are other ways this can occur. But I'm just saying the next time it comes up, I can't stop a member from answering. But I'm going to make it clear for Hansard and the record that the question is out of order. Fair enough? So whether, he, whether the government is a shareholder, mine or mine, the government, the company is a separate entity. It may have a, a governmental shareholding. That does not make the Prime Minister capable of speaking to it.
Yes, Mr. Speaker. Can the Honorable Prime Minister, since he just said that the government is a minority shareholder, tell us who are the shareholders of West Indies Oil Company Limited and what percentage, is, what percentage of shares does each hold? Again, that is a question that is available to the members on the opposition bench and to members of the public by searching the register of companies in which the shareholding will be noted. It is not a proper question for Prime Minister's question. We should deal with government matters and matters of governance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can the Honourable Prime Minister tell us who owns a parking lot on the property now currently being used by the DCA? Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, I recognize 